हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम इन फार्मास्यूटिकल केमिस्ट्री फर्स्ट माय सेल्फ लेक्चरर मिसेस उर्मिला रविंद्र गावड़ी एम्पम इन क्वालिटी एश्योरेंस एंड करंटली लेक्चरर इन के के वाग इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फार्मासी चांदवरी नासी सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डील्स विथ एस एम टूडेज अवर एक्सपेरिमेंट इज एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर नाइन टाइटल टू डिटरमाइन परसेंट वेट बाय वेट ऑफ एच इन द गिवन सैम्पल ऑफ बोरिक एसिड so let's start with learning objective after watching this video student will able to understand intellectual skill that means to understand the concept of assay to identify titrant and titrate in the titration to understand the concept of factor calculation to understand the concept of percentage purity and motor skill to observe the correct meniscus of the solution in the burette to observe the formation of carbon dioxide in the reaction to observe the color change at the end point of the titration concept this assay is based upon acid base titration in which boric acid is very weak base and is to be titrated against strong alkali like sodium hydroxide it does not give sharp end point so glycerin is added to form glyceroboric acid complex which acts as strong monobasic acid and is a strong enough to titrate against standard solution of sodium hydroxide using phenylethylene as a indicator so this is the chemical reaction behind assay of boric acid first of all glycerol is react with boric acid to form a glyceroboric acid plus h3o h3o plus plus two molecule of h2 then this glyceroboric acid complex again react with sodium hydroxide it forms glyceroil plus sodium metaborate nabo2 that means net reaction is h3bo3 plus naoh that gives nabo2 means sodium metaborate in presence of glycerin plus two molecules of h2o so factor for the standardization each ml of 1 molar sodium hydroxide gives 0.2042 grams of c8h5o ko4 means potassium hydrogen phthalate and factor for assay each ml of 1 molar sodium hydroxide will give 0.06183 grams of boric acid apparatus required for the assay weighing balance burette pipette conical flask funnel measuring cylinder and the beaker and the chemicals are boric acid potassium hydrogen phthalate one molar sodium hydroxide glycerin and phenylethylene as a indicator so for the actual practical we move towards laboratory hello friends welcome in pharmaceutical chemistry one laboratory today we are going to perform assay experiment number 9 title of the experiment is of boric acid in previous session we already discussed the concept principle reaction factor then apparatus required for the actual practical procedure so let's start with practical so that first of all we have to weigh Five gram of potassium hydrogen phthalate. Now, for standardization purpose, we have to weigh five gram of potassium hydrogen phthalate. is 5 g of potassium hydrogen phthalate now add this 5 g of potassium hydrogen phthalate into the 250 ml of conical flask and dissolve it into 75 ml of carbon dioxide filled water means it is a distilled water
Now take it properly, dissolve it and add 0.1 ml of phenolphthalein indicator. Take it properly. Now this solution we have to titrate it with one molar sodium hydroxide solution. For that, uh, in this burette we already filled one molar sodium hydroxide and zero level adjustment. So let's start with titration. Titrate with constant stirring, so reaction occurs simultaneously and we got sharp end point. Now this is our end point colorless to pink. So burette reading is 23.9. In similar way we have to repeat this procedure for 3 times and calculate mean and calculate the modality of 1 molar sodium hydroxide. Now let us start assay. For that we require 2 gram of boric acid. Add this 2 gram of boric acid into 250 ml of conical flask. Then to this we have to add mixture of 50 ml of water and 100 ml of glycerin which is previously neutralized by phenolphthalein indicator. Add it to this solution. Now shake this solution and completely dissolve boric acid into the this mixture. Boric acid is completely dissolved into the mixture of water and glycerin. So now add phenolophthalein indicator. And titrate it against one molar hydro, uh, sodium hydroxide solution. So titrate it with one molar hydrochloric acid. So one molar sodium hydroxide solution. During titration we have to continuously stir, stir the conical flux so that reaction occurs simultaneously and we got clear and sharp end point. Now 
Now this tartrate is converted into colorless topping. It's it is our end point and our burette reading is thirty one point four. In similar way, we have to repeat the procedure for three times. Then calculate the mean and use that mean into the to find out percent purity of the boric acid. Okay. So uh, our we have to now. Let's move towards calculation part. For that, standardization reading is twenty three point nine, twenty three point eight, twenty three point nine, and its mean is twenty three point nine mL. So let's start with calculation for standardization. One molar of sodium hydroxide. Sorry, molarity of sodium hydroxide is equal to weight of sample divided by burette reading into zero point two zero four two. This is the factor. Then put the value in the formula. That is weight of sample five divided by burette reading. This is standardization uh, mean of standardization. Then twenty nine point five into zero point two zero four two, and our calculated molarity is one point zero two molar. Now second part is calculation for percent purity. S reading is. Thirty one point four, thirty one point three, thirty one point five, and mean thirty one point four. So put this value into the AC calculation. Our given factor is each mL of one molar sodium hydroxide equivalent to zero point zero six one eight three grams of boric acid. That means pure pure at reading means thirty one point four mL of one point zero two. Means it is a calculated molarity. 1.02 molar sodium hydroxide will give how many grams of boric acid so the factor x is equal to 0.06183 into calculated molarity into burette reading put the value into this formula 0.06183 into 1.02 into 31.4 divided by 1 The answer is 1.83, uh, sorry, 1.98 grams of boric acid. Now calculate for 2 gram because we taken 2 gram of sample. So 2 gram gives 0.06183 into 1.03 into 13.4 divided by 1 into 2. 2 is the actual quantity that is we are weighing for the AC calculation. So answer is zero point ninety nine gram. Now this is for two gram. Now we have to perform. Uh, we have to calculate percentage purity. So hundred gram contains zero point zero six one eight three into one point zero two into thirty one point four into one hundred divided by one into two, and answer is ninety nine point zero one percent. So the result is molarity of one molar. Sodium hydroxide is 1.02 molar, and the percent purity of given sample of boric acid is 99.01 percent. Thank you.